I'm going to show you how to use rulers and guides inside of Photoshop. So first thing I'm just going to do is open up a brand new document uh, to work with. I'm just kind of do 6 by 4, 200 for the resolution. And I'm going to use transparent down there so it comes out blank uh, there for me. Uh, and uh, up here if you go to view and choose rulers that'll show you rulers on here or control or command R um, we'll get those so right now my rules are actually in pixels so if I just right mouse click on top of them and change it to inches because that's what I want to work with so uh, but rulers uh, allows you to see the dimensions of your document on there and then guides uh, are some layout uh, tools you can use. So if I come over here with the move tool and just click and hold on top of the ruler and then just drag out, I can pull out some rulers. Mine are green, but yours will probably be a light blue. I've changed the colors of mine. You can do that in preferences, but uh, you can drag these out and lay them out and however you want. If you, uh, you can re-grab them. If you get too many of them in there, just grab them again to get this little icon and pull them back up into your uh, area. So I'm just going to do a, a border real quick. Um, so you could do just a regular border by just um, first getting the color. You could do a paint bucket of whatever color you wanted to uh, or a gradient uh, of a certain type. Um, filter effects, whatever. You just, you just create uh, your border getting the color that you want. And then if I grab my rectangle selection tool, that will allow me to select the part I don't want and just press delete on my keyboard uh, and get rid of that. And I could, I mean, you can design it however you wanted to. Um, and then to place in your image, you would just open up an image. So let me grab one real quick and open it up into Photoshop. <clears throat> file open or I just clicked and dragged and dropped it in there and then just if you grab that place it uh, underneath maybe I want to zoom out a little bit so I can grab the zoom tool and zoom out a little bit and then do a command T or you can also do the transform and scale and just grab that and size it to where you want it to go inside your area mm -hmm. But rulers and guides allows you to um, lay out some things. Uh, they don't print out, so if you want those to print out, you'd have to figure out something else. Uh, to hide those, you could go up to view and hide uh, your rulers um, by choosing the guides. Or if you press Command, uh, Command H to hide them real quick and Command H to bring them back for that. So those are your rulers.